Hey, hey guys, welcome to my channel and great SolarWinds and GNS3 integration course. So before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, like the video to get every new update almost every day. And if you haven't seen my previous lesson, please click here to watch my previous lesson. So in today's lesson, I'm going to add SolarWinds to our GNS3 diagram so we'll click on gns3 and we should wait for the gns3 to be ready actually to run our diagram which is the diagram to add our devices to the solar winds network performance monitoring server so now that we saw in previous lesson how to install solar winds and it's ready actually to add the devices inside gns3 lab to the solar winds in today's lesson i'm going to add these solar winds to the uh, gns3 lab so we'll click on recent project and we'll open up the solar winds diagram which is right here. And here, as you can see, the server summary, it is okay for GNS3 VM and my local PC. And these are the topology summary, which is going to be Microtik R1, R2, and this switch. So to add the SolarWinds server as a Windows in our GNS3 diagram here, simply we should go to edit first and we'll click on preferences. And before I go any further, again, I should mention that when you install SolarWinds successfully in previous lesson, again, you should right click and take a snapshot. Because in some reason, maybe you will see the internal server errors or things like that. It's better that you have at least one snapshot after completing installing a SolarWinds server. So let's minimize this and again, the process of adding a Windows Server is very simple. We'll go to Edit and we'll click on Preferences. And here, this time, we should go to VMware. And here, we'll go to Advanced and Now. And we should add the VMnet 2 to 9 to the, uh, my PC. So uh, let me go to the interfaces of my local PC. And here, we'll click on Change Adapter Option. Here, as you can see, this is my local interface and please just escape this VPN connection. I'm using VPN connection sometimes. And these are my local PC network adapter. So in your case, you should have Ethernet and VM network adapter, VMNet 1 and VMNet 8 for actually integrating a VMware work session with your local PC. So that's great. And then when we go here and add these networks, you will see here we should have seven virtual adapters that gonna help you to import your windows inside GNS3. So here by selecting this option, so in your case it's gonna be 19, but just say two to nine, that would be okay. And here we'll click on configure. That means this configuration is gonna add the network adapter to our network settings configuration here. VM network adapter four, five, six, seven to nine. So that's great. And this is gonna help you actually to add your Windows solar wind server. So and then we'll click on apply. So if you wanna remove them simply, you should click on reset. And as you can see they're going to remove from the configuration of your windows. So here, as you can see, uh, VMnet 2, 3, 4, 5, all of them actually removed. So, so again, we should say configure, just I wanted to show you if you want to get rid of that network interface, you can simply click on reset when you actually finish this course maybe you don't need that uh, interfaces so that's great and we're gonna say apply and by the way you can use the restore default and here we'll go to vmware vms and here we're gonna say new 
new VM that inside our VMware workstation, as you can see. Please choose a server type to run the VMware VM, which is going to be a workstation player or fusion so we'll click on next and here we should select the virtual machine that we have uh, that we already installed in our vmware workstation as a solar winds server that's great and you can use uh, this option but i'm going to leave it to default which is going to be use a linked base so that's okay and we're going to say again apply and we'll go to edit and here in network just to be sure that you should select the type to E1000 or E1000E. In some cases the default maybe it works for you but the best that you can do choose these two options. So I'm going to select this one and OK and apply and OK. So and here we can see our solar winds in the all device and simply we'll drag it to the diagram and I'm gonna say connect my ether zero to the gigabit zero slash two of the switch that's great so let's say the label is going to be solar with npm And one thing is very important to remember that for you, from this time you shouldn't go to your SolarWinds server and start this server from VMware Workstation. Because if you do that, GNS3 will not recognize the statistics of your virtual machine that inside your diagram. That means forget about going to VMware Workstation and actually power on that virtual machine and go there because you will see that Windows Server in that case if you run it manually from VMware Workstation it cannot talk to the diagram and none of these devices can even talk to SolarWinds VM. So simply when we add it here we can see the configuration again here in some cases you may need actually to again add e thousand e or for example and here we have the option allow gnsc to override non-custom vm adapter you can use it here which is give you the power actually as you can see uh, to use any interfaces on the vm in gns3 so that's great and simply right click we're gonna say start so and as you can see GNSC automatically will start the SolarWinds server so in some cases let me actually start this switch and uh, R1 so in some cases you may see several errors the one error it could be for example the vim pickup interface cannot update the settings and actually this uh, uh, server cannot talk to the diagram so let me use fitting view here that means you should copy the errors is going to be here let's imagine this is error you should copy it and paste it on the Google and you will see somebody ask this question before and how we can solve this issue in GNS3 forum specifically. And again, another well known error in GNS3 it is NPF service. That means NPF service cannot recognize the Windows or other appliances interfaces that can be added to the GNS3 diagram. So for the VMP cap, you should close all the diagram and reboot the server. You will see that you won't see the VMP cap error. And when you boot up again your host here, you will see that it's very easy actually to get rid of this error. But for MPF service, you should add the right interface to the SolarWinds. And I can guarantee that if you do exactly like this lesson, you won't see any problem. So let's go to the SolarWinds server actually here we cannot go there and we should go to the SolarWinds here so for the configuring and power on SolarWinds and power off you should do it from the diagram but 
If you want to go there actually to the server, of course, you should go to VMware Workstation and type the password and login. So we'll go to the network setting here. We want to actually add the IP address, which obviously is going to be 10.10.10. Let's say 50 and the subnet mask. So that's great. And I think now we can ping our router without any problem. If we see the problem, we can actually uh, together actually solve the issue. So that's great. Now, as you can see, our uh, solar means can talk to the diagram, GNS3 diagram. And if you go to the GNS3 here, we'll double click to the console. And now we should ping 10.10.10.50. If you can't, uh, you should check the Windows firewall or in case if you have antivirus. So that's great. One thing I want to mention that in some cases here, for example, you will see the timeout. And from the Windows, you cannot ping the device. Here, let me show you, we have the two interfaces for GNS3, which these are added by default. One of them is host only and the second is not. You shouldn't change them. Again, avoid changing these interfaces because you will see the new errors. And here in the SolarWinds, I highly recommend you that you use VMNet 2 or 3. In most cases, VM2 and 3 is going to work for you. If you see the timeout, change it to VMNet 3 and say OK. And now here, as you can see, I should get timeout. Because I had worked with VMNet 2, that means now we have the timeout. So, or something like destination host unreachable for you. So in that case, for example, now you add it and you see that you have destination host unreachable or request timeout. What you should do first, you should confirm that for GNS3, you have two interfaces with this host only and not option and go there to your windows, whatever windows that you have, just select the custom network adapter here and try to check all of these maybe vmnet 6 or 5 works for you or whatever because the windows is going to select which one of them as a preferred vmnet that can talk from the virtual machine inside gns3 to the gns3 devices like routers or things like that so we're gonna say vmnet 2 again the default one and now again we should ping our devices in gns3 again So in today's lesson, we learned how we can add our SolarWinds server to the GNS3 diagram.